Good morning, everyone. This is Biz Chicks TV. This is the place where you can find tips and tools to help you do business better. We're here to help you run a profitable business that's fun to run and to take the hassle out of your hustle. And today we're here with Terry Johnson online, all the way from New York City. And we're going to be talking about your marketing niche. So sit back, relax, join the conversation. We just want you to get everything you need in order to succeed. So with that, we're going to get this party started. Terry's here, and we're going to give a shout out to those who are watching on the replay. And in the meanwhile, hey, how you doing, Terry? <laughs> hey, good morning, everybody. We are here live. Everything is set up. Um, if you're a live streamer, you know that things, you set up things, and then it's like, okay, that didn't work. <laughs> But we here, we're going to roll with it. So welcome everybody to today's discussion. We're going to talk about a digital marketing topic. Because as you know, I like to talk about digital marketing strategy. And that includes email marketing, social media marketing, branding, SEO, oh. your website, all of those things that are tied up into creating your marketing strategy. Okay, so that's the topic that we're talking about today. I'm going to bring mm -hmm. it up so we can see. What we're talking about, so your marketing message, what is that? What is your marketing message? We're going to talk all about that today because it's very important to define, def defined, define your marketing message. I'm just tripping out everything today, but we're going we're gonna to make it. So I want to say welcome. We're glad. Yeah. <laughs> welcome. We're glad you're here. Please share this out on the platform you're on. You know how to do that. So bring more people to this party so we can have a lively discussion. The more the merrier. I want we want to know. We want to know your thoughts, your opinions, your questions, because that makes a well-rounded discussion. Okay. So please mm -hmm. do us this favor. Share it out. And if you like us, give us a like. If we, we even got an angry one time, I don't know what that was about, but if that's your reaction. Hey, <laughs> we're gonna know. roll with it we're gonna <laughs> roll with it okay so thank you for watching and the replay gang always love you Mwah. i know that people watch the replay and put their you know put their thoughts in the chat and we encourage that we want that so let's do this so <laughs> it's tuesday i'm ready to roll <laughs> all right how you doing lawana lawana is in here waiting for us online okay let's get to the comments lawana good morning how are you welcome to the discussion the party welcome to the tuesday party <laughs> okay. and she is an author <laughs> oh really that's interesting yeah an author how many books she's wrote several books one bestseller mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh impressive i'd like to know more <laughs> I really would. So I'm pulling up my notes, guys. Just give me a minute. Um, I called, I put on the show card because there's a card that goes out, an image that goes out when I, you know, promote this or post it on Facebook or wherever you are, because I know people are watching on Periscope, Twitter, they're watching on YouTube, they're watching everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's a show when I so when I put the card together, I called it niche is the word because i like to write little catchy little uh, phrases uh -huh. so i like to write little catchy little phrases on the image and so i put niche is the word mm -hmm. because and i do that because i was thinking of a song called grease anybody remember that very old movie mm -hmm. uh that is about teenagers in high school but the music was was the theme and the theme of the movie and everybody was connected to the to the music so it had a, a theme song called grease and in the song i think it's frankie avalon i want to say i think that's who it is so he says grease is the word is the word that you heard it's got move it's got meaning something like that so i was i, I had that song in my mind i was like you know the key to really having a great marketing strategy a great brand everything is to niche or niche i mm. mean however pe people are pronouncing it both ways i'll say niche but niche is really the fact that you have a, a toned a, a specific a targeted marketing message okay and it drives and it drives everything that you're doing what we're talking right? about 
niche is the word? Yeah. Okay. All righty. But it's really tied to your marketing message. So <clears throat> um, if we could put the banner, the banner back. Um, <laughs> that's really what, what it's about. It's really your marketing message. And I just wanted to make it a little catchy and say niche is the word because it is the word. It's the word that you have to have in mind when you're saying, I want to start a business. So this really, this strategy that I'm talking about, it really works if you're just starting out or if you're already establishing your business mm -hmm. and you want to say, hey, I need to, I need to judge up my strategy. I need to wake this thing up. I need to get more people into my audience. How can I do that? Well, if you didn't have a niche when you started, if you didn't have a niche in mind when you started, you mm -hmm. really should have it now. It's not too late to think about your niche because that's your backbone, your strategy of your marketing message because it has to be targeted, right? So that's a key way to do it. What's your niche? What do I mean by niche? Niche really means a sub subtopic, as deep as you can get into a topic. So let's say, for example, I always bring up golf. I don't know why it's the first thing that pops into my mind, but you wouldn't talk about golf because it's such a big topic. You would talk about a subtopic. Same thing with jewelry. If you're into making jewelry, you don't make all kinds of jewelry. You would make gold, silver, you know, mm. a, another type of metal or material because when someone is buying jewelry, they're not they are specific themselves. So that's why this is key because your audience is going to be specific. So you need to be specific. So does everybody get that? Yeah. That okay, makes sense. I wanna, okay. Okay. Uh, I want to bring up Lawana. She's Lawana. She says, thank you for the shout out. I have eight books. Wow. That's impressive. Has, the, has Lawana been on this chicks on like one of the Monday shows or? Yeah, she hasn't been on one of the Monday shows recently, but we have talked to her in the past, but we may want to go back around because she does have a lot to offer. Yeah. She, she runs a um, a website called the, the Black Authors. And so mm -hmm. uh, that's a relevant topic now, you know, mm -hmm. if look, I mean, I don't want to put the water in the pot in the spot, but if she's got time, this might be the perfect time to come on and talk about those books because of the subject matter and what's going on in the world today. It's just my suggestion. Mm -hmm. So, do you, <laughs> so want me, do you want me to send her a link if she's available? Or she I'm can, just saying she <laughs> might. I mean, that's up Let to the water. Let yeah. us know in the chat. If you are camera. <laughs> Well, I'm always saying if she's on, if she, you know, Mondays is the perfect time to strike while the iron yeah, is hot. We, yeah, and we are looking for Monday um, guests. Yeah, so Monday. it just came to my head. I mean, you know, I'm going to leave <laughs> I'm gonna leave that to Lawan. I'm not going to put her in a spot, but that would be an interesting topic. Mm -hmm. An author with eight books. I'm just saying. <laughs> Okay, so that's it. I'm not gonna put any more pressure on her, but um, Khalid, hey, he oh, says good morning, beautiful ladies. Good morning, Khalid. Um, I I always think about you, Khalid, because I know you're in travel, and I have a client that's in travel, and um, mm -hmm. we're we're working out a strategy because New York is starting to open. We're gonna be in phase three on Monday, so it's not quite 100, percent but we're gearing up. So I just wanted to know, Khalid, what you know, if you could, you know, if you're working on your gearing up strategy or if you've never, you know, because I was saying at the beginning of this thing that you really should just keep going, even though, you know, your industry might be down or shut down, you could, there are still things you can do. So just curious, because I always think about, you know, I see your stories, with your beautiful daughter, and I see the things that you're doing. So that's why I'm bringing it up. Sorry, that a little water. Okay, so back to this niches, niches word, mm -hmm. the marketing message, because, and I, I wanted to talk about this because a lot of people will, um, a lot of people will, will try to, what is it? They will just start a business without forming the plan outright. And uh -huh. that's okay. You can start a business. You don't have to have it 
I have a business plan and it's, you know, a deck and is, you know, these, these, you know, this PDF and this thing. Some people don't start that way. Some people just start free form. So I'm going to start a business. And I'm going to do the things I need to do as they go mm -hmm. along. But either in that case, you still need to stop for a minute and think about um, the strategy of, oh, is LaWanna coming on now? I thought I was talking about Monday. Yeah, I, I sent her a message. Okay, we can schedule you for Monday. Oh, okay, because I saw her comment. Yeah, so yeah I see her comment. <laughs> now I was talking about Monday, Luanda. Um, Luanda. Why is it Luanda? Luanda, sorry. My lips are not working today. <laughs> yes, they are. I'm sorry, they guys. I've just been working really hard on, on, like I said, I was talking to my Khalid that I got a client that's been gearing up, so we're starting to get back into you know, doing the posting and the strategy and the website and just really, some people are really busy. And I know that because of this pandemic, a lot of people are out of work or they're not doing the things that they were doing before. But so this is good for you. You know, if you're thinking about, I need to work on that project that I wanted to work on, or I have a business idea and I never had the time. And I, we said this at the beginning of this thing, this is your time. This is your time because the pandemic kind of wiped everything and shut everything down. So it gave you the space to work on your ideas. So I'm, I'm always big on working on ideas and a good way to handle when you have an idea because they pop up in the day, they pop up in the morning, at night, whatever. Make sure you have your phone with you. I do. And I pull out notes app or I do uh, Asana. I do something and I write it down because there's a lot of ideas that I have. And I forget to write them down. And I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, when I get to my phone, I'm going to put it in my notes app. And just like that, it disappears. So it's a good idea that just, whoof, it just poofed, mm -hmm. poofed away because I didn't record it. So that's a good thing that I want you guys to think about is, hey, um, <laughs> hey, oh, let me stop. Tachi is here. Let me recognize mm -hmm. the room. Barb is here. Welcome, Barb. I'm always glad to see you. She says, coffee is sure not kicking in for this morning. I can relate. Thank you, Barbara. I've, I, that's, thank you. So she understands <laughs> exactly what's going on. I'm like, hey, but we're going to make it work. That's what we do. Yeah. That's what we do. So, get, so getting back to this marketing message, mm -hmm. and I tie it in with niche marketing because this I this this is the thing. I go a lot of places. I'm in lots of groups. I think Barb, we talked about that in your group. That how many groups are you a member of? I'm a ton of groups because I see a lot of great information in there where people are talking and saying things that they don't understand. They want to know more about. So that's that's key to me. I hear people asking questions. I see people asking questions mm -hmm. or they're confused about something. So that always attracts me. So I see a lot of people going, well, how do you do this? How do you do that? How do I make it through? How do I break through the noise? Uh, Khalid, I want to bring his message up. He says, my best yeah. ideas come through during bubble baths, just yeah. saying, LOL. See, that's what I'm talking about. My ideas, when I first wake up in the morning, I'm brushing my teeth. Yeah, okay. Like, clock, like clockwork. Boom, boom, boom. So I got my phone with me. <laughs> so... Um, I do voice, uh, a good tip. I do voice messages. I don't, cause you, you know, when you're typing on your phone and you, you auto correct or you hit the wrong letter or something, yes. I use the voice, either voice recording or some of the apps I have, they take my voice and they convert it into text. So mm -hmm. that's a good tip to do, but you want to re what my idea is. My thing is you want to record the idea because it's happened. Wow. I'm telling you, because it's happened to me. I had so many thoughts for, okay, this is a good idea. This is a good strategy. This is this. And I'm like, I'm in the middle of doing something else. And I'm like, okay, I got to write that down right now. And then I forget and I, cause I'm doing something else. And I said, Oh, I had a great idea. What happened to it? Cause I didn't mm -hmm. record it. So this is the, key, this is the key to, your marketing message, your marketing strategy, get in niche is the ideas you have because you're immersed in the topic of, say, like I was saying, if you're talking about golf or jewelry, you want to super niche those down. That means subtopics. So you mm. wouldn't talk generally about a topic. You want to get specific as possible. Now, some people don't understand that the smaller the audience, the better. 
because they're in the habit of everybody's my customer. Mm. And that's not true. Everybody is not your customer because you can't serve the world. You know you can't. <laughs> Now, I knew that, but you know what? I never interpreted it as the smaller the audience, the better. I know. I, I've, that's what I'm saying. I'm in so many groups and I, I, I'm in so many groups and I see people talking about different things and I'm like, okay, you're trying to serve everybody. You can't do that. Um, take for example, Facebook is 2.5 billion users probably mm -hmm. now. Are you going to make all 2.5 billion users your, your customer? No, mm -hmm. that's your pool to niche down into your audience and you want to have a smaller audience that doesn't make sense yes it does because i'm telling you a smaller audience they are more they they will buy into your marketing message that means they will connect with it because you're being specific about mm -hmm. a problem you're being specific about a problem or issue that they have so you're able to cut through the noise of all the stuff that's going on in their life and in the world and in the news, and you're reaching out and touching them directly. So do you want to have a 100 true fans, or do you want to have 10,000 people that just follow you and they don't really buy from you or they don't really connect with you, they don't really post or give, you know, they don't respond to your posts? Which one do you want? I Now, when, I you, now when mm -hmm. you say it that way, <laughs> it's much clearer. Okay. So Honestly, I want the 100 true friends to I want the 100 true, true fans because they're connected. They know, like, and trust me. They're already connected with my message. They're already in a receptive mode to what I'm selling, whether it's a service mm -hmm. product or service. Doesn't matter. OK. Um, Brenna, good morning. Brenna says, Brenna, make sure. Brenda says, make sure that SLSA, that's better than the industrial cleaner SLS. Okay, so we're talking about your cleaner, right? Is this because I was uh, mentioning the niche? Just some clarification on that, mm -hmm. Brenna. And thank you for being here. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate everyone being here. We do. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, this is why I want to explain it as your marketing message or your, I call it your why. People mm -hmm. online call it your marketing message. I call it your why. Why are you doing what you're doing? That's your marketing message that leads to your niche uh, topic, that leads to your specific targeted audience, which is smaller. And they're more uh, connected. There, There's a word I want to think of. It's not coming to me, but they are locked in, tuned in to what you're selling, what you're offering to the world, to the audience. Mm -hmm. So like I said, you don't want 2.5 billion customers because how are you going to handle them? You're not Amazon. You're you. <laughs> you might be a one person shop or you may mm -hmm. have say five, 10 employees, but you're a small business. So you can't handle the level of uh, output or customers or audience or attention that Amazon has. Because oh. guess what Amazon has? Amazon has a tried, tested, and true system. A tried, a tried, tested, and true system that works for them. Uh -huh. That's the key to Amazon. So that's mm -hmm. the key to Amazon. Um, let me see. Brennan says, oh, oh, she, oh, okay. You guys are talking in the comments. Because I was like, mm -hmm. what's it? Ooh, did I mention SLSA? <laughs> like, what is that? <laughs> Um, <laughs> so it's tried, it's tested, it's true. They're locked and loaded into your brand, your business. Mm -hmm. And isn't that what you want? Yes. So let me tell you, Amazon did not start off being Amazon. You're looking at 2020 Amazon. I remember Amazon in 19... What I want to say, my first job, 19 something. With the, I was working with an advertising agency. And I came across this little, it, well, they were small then. It was a, they just sold books. Bookstore yeah. online was their thing. Amazon was bookstore online. That was their message. 
you get your books online instead of going to Barnes and Nobles. And, you know, but the key to Barnes and Nobles and the bookstores is that you went to browse mm -hmm. the books. So there are people that like to browse the books before they buy them. So people were like, well, Amazon is selling books online. What's the fun in that? Remember, this was at a time when we did not shop online. E-commerce was not a big thing as it is now online. So people were leery of buying books and things online because books are tactile. You want to go and touch it and smell it, look at the cover, read the artist bio, flip through it, right? Mm -hmm. So can you do that online? Nope. You can't do that online. So that was the thing when Amazon was first out was like, this doesn't make sense. This is not successful. But now look at 2020 Amazon. They're pretty big, right? Pretty Absolutely. big. And it fits the way we want. We shop now because there's a pandemic. People can't get out. Mm. But, things can, but things can come to you. You can shop mm -hmm. with a phone. You can shop with a phone. You can shop with your computer. You can shop with a device. You've already set up the system. Amazon has already set up the system of yeah. ordering. So, so Amazon has set up the system of ordering and distribution. That's it. That's why they're so successful. It's not that Amazon has the best products because they don't. Some of that stuff was from China. It still is. Some of mm -hmm. that stuff is crappy. I'm mm -hmm. gonna say it. Some mm -hmm. of the stuff you am some of the stuff you order from Amazon is crappy, but you don't know until you get it. Yes, so you open it up and it's like surprise. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not a good surprise, right? It's not a good surprise. Sometimes, um, it, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> so Brenda says, I'm content with my customers now. I will need to get a virtual assistant sometime, hopefully. Okay, I'm glad Brenda said that. Because I'm everybody is feeling this type of this type of sentiment you want to grow faster than you're growing mm. but what does the baby do roll over crawl teet around then walk right so there's mm. steps to before they get the, the you know get fast and you can't catch them because mm -hmm. when they start walking is when the problem starts because when they're babies but they're babies, you control them. They, Once they, they start, yeah. Expensive, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once they start walking, all bets are off. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not laughing at you, Brent. I'm just saying that this everybody's in the spot. I am too. Long. I'm, I'm not doing things as fast as I think I should because number one, I have to roll over, crawl, grab things, and then walk. And also, I'm looking at everyone else in my lane that I think I should be where they are. Mm. And this is not, Brenda, I'm saying this is a natural reaction because everybody wants to do that. But you're going to have to get comfortable in where you are and stop looking at the other people surrounding you that look like they have it all together and they're headed again. Because you're looking at it this side of the fence. You don't know what's going on in the neighbor's oh, yard. Dude. Please remember that show. Uh, what's that show where the guy was over the fence like this? The oh, neighbor, yeah, and I've forgotten his name. Over, oh, and I they all exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I mean, so I, it, I had the hat on, and you never saw his uh, face. is it tool time? Uh, uh, tool time. Oh, uh, God, that's exactly what it was. What's the guy that Buzz Light, the voice of Buzz Lightyear? I cannot, I Tim that. Allen, the show with Tim Allen years ago. It might still be on repeat somewhere, I don't know. but he would go, he would have a problem and he would go in the backyard and do tools or whatever. And then the neighbor would peep over like that and say, Hey Tim, what you doing or whatever. And then he would say his problem. And then the guy would give him some sage advice and it was his neighbor, but you never saw <laughs> what was beyond that. Right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Home, Home improvement. improvement. Thank you, Tachi. I thought, I thought it was tool time. Why do I think it was tool time? Anyway, I don't know. That's just. <laughs> thank you, Tachi. See, the me we need the media professor in here to get us oh, straight. Yeah. Thank you. She thank also you. has a comment above that, but go ahead. Oh, okay. So let's, let, let's, okay, let me get to this. She says, um, yes, I used to order my books for school online. Yep. Yep. That's, that's exactly what Amazon. That's how they started out. So, but back to Brenner. Um, sorry, Brenna. Why am I? 
Brenda, <laughs> that that's what's happening is that you know, be cont you're content where you are now, and that's good. But we're always thinking ahead, and sometimes we, with business, we gotta slow that down because you might trip over yourself. Like I was saying with a baby, there's, there's that stage is rolling over, crawling, all of that. So we gotta go through those stages. But it doesn't help if we're looking at other businesses in our topic area industry or whatever and like why are they killing it and i'm still here back on you know whatever well, step and there here's another thing to look at too. um terry i don't want to mm -hmm. break your flow but are they really killing it when some of them are declaring bankruptcy that's what i mean that's why i brought up the a lot of overhead a lot of you know what i mean a lot of balls in the air Mm -hmm. I know exactly what you mean. That's why I, that is instantly home improvement. And then Taji says tool time was the show on, on home improvement. Cause he was, a uh, he, oh, he, he did, he created in the show or something on his, he had a TV show where he did Within uh, the carpentry show. and stuff. Right. Uh -huh. Right. So it was a TV show inside of a TV show, if you can get that. But yeah. getting back to why I brought it up is because of the guy on the fence. You didn't know what was going on in Mr. Whatever. I don't remember his name, but uh, you didn't know. Brenda tells us his name right here. Look. Oh, okay. Okay. So Brenda says, I used to do that. Looked looked at people that created, that started, um, started a year later. They were slaying. I'm me. Totally different situation. Nelson. Thank you. So his name was Nelson. Mm -hmm. And we're saying all that for this old TV show because, you know, to you guys, you know, if any Gen Z's are watching, they don't know what we're talking mm -hmm. about. Yeah, cool. <laughs> but millennials don't know what we're talking about unless it's on repeat somewhere. I don't know. But, um, oh, okay. So let's get back to Brenna. Brenna says, I don't pay attention to others anymore, only to celebrate their wins when I'm included. Okay, great. See, yeah, I, nice. that's the other part of it. I'm glad that Brenda brought that part in because this is what you're supposed to do. Hard to do, but this is what you need to do. Run your own race. Think of, you know, the horses that the whatever, I'm thinking of a track, what, Churchill Downs or wherever. Wherever the, the pony, the horses are running. They all start off at this, the starting line. They're all in little slots, right? Mm -hmm. You're one of the horses. So when they ring the bell, everybody goes out the gate at the same time at the same speed but then there's of course there's a race so somebody's going to win it so don't worry about the person that's gaining up on you or ahead of you you won your race and come in whatever spot it doesn't have to be number one because when you're in business you are in business to meet a need what is your why who are you reaching who are you talking to it's not going to be 2.5 billion people on facebook it's not going to be Amazon. You're going to start out where you are. And you need to, like like Brenda says, she doesn't pay attention to the others. You need to run your race and do your best time. You know, it's good to win. Yes, everybody wants to be a winner. First, second, third place. What if you come in fifth? As a business owner, is that bad? No, because you're still, you're in business. You you have profits. You have customers. You're making money. The place you don't want to be is where your business is not profiting, not making money, not attracting any new people, not getting any attention. Now, that's that's bad. That's out of the race completely. If you're in the race, you're doing good. That's my point. Um, Brenna, I'm going to bring up your comment because I agree. She says, I don't like Tim Allen's new show. He supports Cheeto. Yes, no. I only brought him up because of his show that the guy in the fit... I'm not, you know, saying that I'm a fan of his because, again, that show was years ago. Mm -hmm. He's in a different. We all know his political aspirations. Which we're not going to talk about, but he's an actor that had a show that I thought fit this description. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, his personal beliefs. Yeah, let him have it. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> Because I, I don't follow anything that this. I, I really have. No yeah, 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 yeah. We're not going into that. <laughs> there's so many, there's so much stuff that I stopped watching. Truly. Okay. So, I, I mean, I'm saying all of this because this is your marketing. Your marketing message fits into where your niche is. You want to be super niche because you want to have a marketing message that is targeted 
and your marketing message going to reach a sub segment of people. But that sub segment is small, but it's concentrated. Do you understand that? Like I said, with the hundred, and it, I think there's a book called 102 Fans or 100 Fans or something like that. I have to get the details because it popped in my head. And I know I read it somewhere. But the 100 True Fans, those you're going to get, say, 90% of those people, or if you're really, you know, if it's really good, 100% of those people to follow your posts, mm. to watch your live stream to download your podcast to do your call of action because you're doing all this to have a call of action and in business it is to buy my product buy my service so once that cycle is complete that's success it's on a smaller level but it's it's concentrated versus i want to reach 2.5 billion people on facebook ain't happening because one you're not going to reach all of them and two they're not going to want what you're what you're you know, what you're selling, what you're offering. They're not going to want it because it doesn't fit them. Like I say, I always talk about golf. I'm not ever going to want anything to do with that because it doesn't interest me. So I'm not a customer. So, and also this ties into when you're doing paid advertising. Oh, Mm. this really ties into paid advertising because you want the most bang for your buck. Mm. You don't want to throw, and this goes on with Facebook ads where people say Facebook ads don't work. It's because you're not, your message isn't clear. You're trying to reach too many people. You're trying to get the attention of people that care less. So that's just like throwing money out the window. You don't mm-hmm. want to do that. Okay. Um, Brennan says, oh, oh, okay. Oh, they're talking. Okay. Yeah, uh-huh. So see, we're, we're in StreamYard, so we can't see like the nested conversation. So when I see something, I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that's where that comes from, guys. Sorry. But, um, I mean, this, my mission is is becoming clearer to me. I mean, it's always been with me, but my mission is to make things clearer for you guys. I was, uh, before I was saying is, you know, I want to make things clear for people who are busy, busy, busy business owners, but that doesn't apply anymore because some are busy and some are not. So I'm going to have to redefine my marketing message and it's something I'm working on. So I'm just saying that I'm talking about it because this is a journey that I'm on. Brenda's on it too, where she's like, okay, I'm not, something's not happening fast enough for me that I think it should. But if you're in a good spot, you're in a good spot. And I said, hold on to that spot until you do the work of redefining your message, knowing your niche, knowing your why, redefining mm-hmm. it for a small segment of people. And then you grow out from there. But it's 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 everybody's journey is going to be different with this path. And that's what Brenna, I'm glad Brenna brought that that um comment up because that's mm-hmm. how a lot of people feel. I'm not on the I'm not growing as fast as this person or that person. But like Terrellina said, you don't know what's going on their side of the fence. You really don't because see that fence is up covering all of the whatever the mess that's the going on. Mess. So yeah, because <laughs> from the head up, oh, uh, Nelson, yeah, he, you don't know what he's got behind that fence. We don't know. It could be anything. His his yard could be a mess. There could be stuff strewn about. He could have his ground tore up. You know, he's he's getting ready to, to plant a garden and then it's all messed up from him, you know, turning the soil over. Those kind of things. Because you're only seeing this. So you can't yeah. judge it. So that's why I'm saying don't run don't run someone else's race run yours so you're we're all in that race and every horse is starting out at the same time out of the gate and Mm -hmm. someone else's horse is going to you know they're going to be faster than you but you're in the race is my point you got time to you got time to do what you need to do so you have to redefine your marketing message make sure that it's targeted and not general like uh-huh. I said, you don't you don't want 2.5 billion Facebook users. You only want 100 to start off with, and then you grow from there. Because guess what? Those satisfied, happy 100 true fans are going to talk about you to other people when they're out and about online or even in the real world. It's called word of mouth. Mm-hmm. And it happens online and it happens offline. So don't worry about that. But it's a it's a natural human tendency to want to win the race. 
and to see yeah. someone ahead of us, it can make us stop and doubt ourselves. So don't, what I'm saying, don't do that. You're in the race. You're in the race, you know. Uh -oh. Um <laughs> Oh, Barb's comment. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. Barb Barb says, love the way you think, Terry. I agree with what you're saying wholeheartedly. Thank you, Barb. Mm -hmm. That means a lot to me. That means the world to me. That means a lot. Because, I, because I, and I'll say this, is because I have a topic in mind, and I'm like, there's a lot of topics to talk about with digital market strategy and running your business. I try to pick the ones that I think we need to talk more about because there's overwhelm. There's a lot of information out there. There's lots of gurus and, you know, masterminds, and they have the answer. And you got to pay $2,000 to get the answer when I'm telling you what the answer is. Your <laughs> marketing message. Is I'm so telling true. you what it is. That is so <laughs> I'm, not I'm not charging you. Do do I'm that money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm telling you what it is. But there's more to, I'm trying to, simp what I mean is I'm trying to simplify it, but there's more to it. And we're going to get to the point where we work more on it. And like I said, I'm still working on that. Um, I will tell you because of the you know Black Lives Matter and what's going on, it really upset the whole world. It kind of threw everybody's plans. Rhythm and everything off. Slowed down, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, for, for a while, it wasn't the right time to launch anything in my mind, in my mm -hmm. opinion. It was to focus on what was what happening in the world that needs to happen. That's still going on the conversation, people awakening and stuff like that. And I said this before, you don't have to speak on it. Mm -mm. You don't. If someone's pressuring you to speak on Black Lives Matter, you tell them you don't. Say, I said it. <laughs> Send them to me because everyone's on a different level. Like I said about that horse race. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody's mm -hmm. on a different Thing. And we can't point fingers and say you are wrong because you're not talking about it. I mean, you can mention it, but we don't want to get to the point, And I feel like this is happening. We don't want to get to the point where we're starting to pitch for people because they're not talking about a certain thing that's that's important right now. You cannot force people to go to some place they're uncomfortable or they're not ready. You have to guide them and help them get ready to accept the message. That's the way I feel about it. I mean, this is my opinion. That's how I feel about it. You know, and it's the same thing with religion. Not bringing up religion. I'm just saying that some people try to convert you, right? They try to convert you and this and that. I'm like, I'm not ready. But let me tell you about. I'm not ready. You have to wait until people are ready. Now we've been waiting a long time. I agree. So we're pushing. We're we're gonna put the pedal on the metal. A little bit more. We're giving it more gas. Mm -hmm. So um things have to speed up a lot better. So I see some comments. Um yeah. mm -hmm. Claudia said it's funny. I never think of winning compared to others. My business is also my passion. I win when I convey to people the message of eating healthy real food. See, that's that's a winning marketing message. That's that's you're that. Whenever I talk about things and you guys put your comments, well, I say this and that, I said that's it. That's what you get online and you talk about. My business and my passion, I win when I convey to people the message of eating healthy food. So her thing is conveying to people the message of eating healthy, real food. So how do you do that? How do you do that? That's a part of your message. That's the way you niche it down. That's where you create your audience. This is because it's hard. It's hard. I'm telling you because I see this in my groups. And when I go online, everybody is crying about it's hard to win on Instagram. It's hard mm. to get through. Nobody's listening to me. Well, you got to be you. That's what I said last week. Your brand is you. Mm -hmm. Everything is you when you're in business and doing stuff online. Say what you mean. Say it in your words. Don't follow along with some guru who says you must post on Instagram between 9 and 11 a.m. Who said? Who said? There's analytics for every platform that will let you know when you need to do that okay claudia so thank you for your message uh carlos says i can't believe you are not talking about the shortage of hot dogs in stores so i didn't know about it carlos there's a sh there's a shortage of hot dogs <laughs> let me know i gotta look at, i gotta look at that well, well i don't know if it's true but 
playing with us, but it would make sense if the meat packing plants are. Yes, the yes, it's, yes. There's all the people, the workers in the meat prep, meat processing plants, or or ill. So, a lot of them, not all of them. Yeah. So Claudia says, if a person changes their eating lifestyle because of my message, I have one. Boom. That is what you need to run with, Claudia. That is your why. That's your why. When you hear people talk about, oh, my passion, I need to work on my passion. No, I don't want you to think about passion. I want you to think about why. Because the why is why you wake up. The why is why you're going to say, today, I'm going to work on my marketing message. Today, I'm going to fix my website. Today, I'm going to make a podcast episode. Today, I'm going to write a blog post. You see where I'm going? Your why. So she's got hers. Boom, there it is. Uh, Brenda says, thank you for this, Terry. Need to stay focused without compromise. I'm loving you guys' comments. See, this is this makes me feel better about what I'm saying because I'm connecting with you. I'm what's in my head, I'm getting it through to you. So by the confirmation by the comments, you're letting me know. So that's what I want to do. I want to make sure that you connect the dots that you're that that the marketing message, the mm -hmm. thing that you're doing with your digital marketing strategy, with your business online and off, is getting to and connecting in the right way. In the right way. So mm -hmm. Barb says, had no idea there was a hot dog shortage. My son gets ours at Costco and bulk. Thank goodness we are set for the summer. See, I didn't know. I mean, I, I, I can't. I, but I don't get all the news. Because, Barb, <laughs> I, I buy ahead of time. So I'm like, if they're up in there or whatever. I, I didn't know. I haven't bought hot dogs in a while. But I have bought I have. toilet paper and I did buy it in bulk. Go ahead. Yeah, we <laughs> Oh, speaking of toilet paper, I think um, I read in Australia that they're doing a run again. Remember how people were, you know, uh, panic buying? I uh -huh. think in Australia, it, it started again in Australia because of the shortage. Well, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you start to see that whole trend again because of all the constant chatter about the upsurge. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, oh, wait a minute. Car Carlos? I'm going to get you. Carla says it was a joke. It was a hot dog joke. I don't think there's oh a short. Carla started <laughs> a, a, a run on hot dogs. <laughs> and Taji said, no hot dogs, you'll be all right. Right. You'll be fine. Um, yes. Barb says there was a shortage in May, but it didn't, but didn't realize it was still going on. So there was a shortage. So see, Carlos, you got us all confused today over hot dogs. <laughs> I'm going to get you. And then he says, agree, no gurus, right? Don't follow the gurus. And Tati says, right, that's rubbish. About the gurus, yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to get you about that hot dog joke. Because, see, I'm not going to, next time I'm not going to follow you when you put something that's really real. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> see, he says, he, he says he was just being silly. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> And then uh, I'm going to get back to Juan. Hold on, Juan. I'm get your comment. I want to get this hot dog thing out of the way. I was trying to point out how people share things to take you into a rabbit hole. I'm guilty of this as well. See that? See that? Carlos. I'm going to hit you on the hand. Uh, Luana says, thank you. I like knowing my why. Yes. See, that's that's a part of where the direction I'm going in. I, and I've always said that you should know your why. But people don't really understand that. So I'm like, okay. I How think, do you know? Mm -hmm. I think because when they talk about it, they make it so complicated. You know, we don't like complicated stuff here at Bishop. We mm -hmm. really like to keep it simple so that we can understand it and apply it. Right. So that if I was talking to my fifth grader or my second grader, they would know what I'm talking about. But for some reason, and I think that's one of the reasons why marketing seems so confusing to me. Uh, because people make it seem like it's such an intricate science that I'll never understand it. <laughs> it's brain surgery. No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> if I can't do the analytics where I, I, I don't know what the deck is, I don't understand the language, then, you know, girl, you, why are you even in business? <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my God. So we, we got some more comments about the hot. We're going to call it the hot dog incident. Uh, Bert, 
<laughs> Brenda says, anyone heard of Upton Sinclair the jungle? I knew someone that worked in a sausage hot dog plant 10 years ago. They wouldn't eat another HD sausage ever again. Me too. And um, Tachi says, the hot dog rabbit hole. That's what we're going to name this. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Tachi. And if you've ever made sausage, you're probably not interested in eating it. I have made sausage with my grandmother, and it is not a pretty process. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, my God. Uh, Tachi Ooh. said we read it in the seventh grade. So the book, The, the Jungle, I don't, I don't recall it. I have to look it up again. The Jungle. And Barb says, leave it to me to Google for ver ver Google for verification, LOL. <laughs> Carlos says, see how easy it was. And he says, awesome. That's part of the rabbit hole. Thank you, Carlos, for this. <laughs> for the hot dog. Yeah, for this, the hot dog caper, the hot dog rabbit hole. The hot dog rabbit hole. Thank you very much. <laughs> so when he puts something in, I'm going to start knowing, like, okay, I'm not going to read that until I make sure that you that you're uh being serious or not and then barb says she's gonna google it so we're gonna handle it like that from now on carlos so no more rabbit holes <laughs> i'm like what the hot dog chart what <laughs> it makes sense because it's picnic time right so yeah it does it's fourth of july this week mm -hmm. and um that we have it but let's let's get back on topic thank you Carlos. Thank you. i love the laugh he confessed okay <laughs> so i want to i want to get back to lawana's uh comment about knowing your why because see it it's like your your the skeleton of the body everything hangs off of your, your skeleton if you don't have a skeleton you're kind of just and there are some uh animals and uh species plant species or, or uh species that they don't have a a skeleton system, but they still make it. But they're just like an amoeba or something. I don't know. Um, there, there's a couple. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. I want to say a flounder, but flounder has there's a type. I don't know. There's types of fish and things that don't have uh, an um, skeletal. I want to say exoskeleton. It's not exo. There's another word. It's not coming to me. My science class is failing me. But there are some that they still make it, but they don't. Mm -hmm. They, you know. This, but you, but as humans and, and animals that have skeletons inside of us, it's what everything hangs on. So your it's business a needs a skeleton. Framework. Yes. You need a framework. You need a skeleton. You need something for everything to fall on and, and work. So this is like a, when someone's doing a sculpture, there's a framework inside of that sculpture. Some of them start with it's just wires or branches or whatever material they decide to work with and then they sculpt around that and it becomes a work of art so that's what i'm saying with your business you need to have a framework a skeleton of things that it falls back on and it supports you and lifts you when things aren't going great like i said mm -hmm. you, every day everybody's not happy and you know you don't wake up every day yeah, you're really doing the science over here for you go ahead <laughs> okay so let me let me get back here um so so uh so oh, Brenna said hot dog debacle. Have a great day, everyone. I have to head out. Bye, Brenna. Thank Love you for being you. here. Love your comments. <laughs> yes. Um, Carlos says this is how political this is how political posts get empowered as well as marketing. Exactly. I love the I love the um you know, you putting it together like that. And Carlos says we must resist to get card up. Claudia says jellyfish. Yes, that's that's one. Okay. Because they they boil it. They they are in the water. So once they're on on the shore, it's a different. They they it's a different thing. They're not able to move, but in the water they move freely, right? So that's one of the things. Uh, Barb says shame on both of us, Carlos. Still, I love to hear Terry laugh. <laughs> Which Terry? Because I like Terralina's laugh better than my laugh. Um, <laughs> Taji says. Single cell organisms. Yeah. I mean, they are really into this. <laughs> Carlos says amoeba. <laughs> Claudia says, I mean, don't be a jellyfish. But no, okay. you, you're right about the jellyfish. Because I was trying to think of, you know, species that don't, they don't have a bony, they have some kind of backbone, but it's not bone like ours is. Mm -hmm. There's a better way to put it. I'm not a scientist. I'm just trying oh. to rely on my, so when I was in school, yeah, my scientific my background. Knowledge on this subject. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, you need, but you need uh, that to 
to prop you up or else you're like, you know, uh -huh. like that. So, I mean, that's why I'm, I'm bringing it up. I'm saying your marketing message and people think, well, think, well, what well, duh, I have a marketing message, but is it clear? Is it concise? Uh -huh. Does it reach the people that it needs to reach or is it all over the place? It needs to be specific and targeted because specific and target gets you people in your audience that becomes customers that they're in with you because they're connecting with your message. They're connecting with what you're saying. So that's why I said, know your why, because it drives you to do the things you need to do in order to attract the audience that you want. And it's not everybody. And I, I say this all the time and I'm going to keep saying it because people say, everybody is my customer. I hear it all the time. Oh, everybody's my customer. Really? 2.5 billion people on Facebook is your customer? Nope. <laughs> No. So you need to have the message that is targeted, that's mm -hmm. going to reach the people that it needs to reach. It needs to connect. Your message needs to connect with those that it needs to connect with. And mm -hmm. they're going to, that's going to attract your audience because you need an audience. You can't do anything without an audience. I'm sorry. And I don't mean audience studio clapping like a TV show. I mean, the people that are watching what you do online, following your posts, following your website, your blog posts, your podcast, the live screen, we're doing all of that. That's your audience. Are they connected? Are they engaging? Or are they coming back? Or are they giving you feedback? Like we're getting comments today that's, that's letting us know what's going on with the topic we're talking today. All of that is important data that allows you to formulate the right strategy. See, I'm using words like formulate. I usually don't. Create your strategy that works for your business, that grows it, that allows you to reach the goals you set for yourself, mm -hmm. not the gurus. You don't you don't need the rules that the gurus set and all of that. You are running your own race. So be happy with that. And that is going to sustain your business and you're in the race and you're doing OK. That's it. Nothing else to be said. So you're not going to let it. You're not going to let seeing someone else doing your business their business doing better than yours and allow you to do a setback no you're going to be okay with where you are because there's room for growth that's called scaling up that's uh -huh. what you want to do so you want to scale your business you want to reach your goals and that's the success that you seek whether it's online or off that's it um Let's see. Oh, uh, we're back to uh, Carlos is back with more disruption. Octopus, squid, slug, worm. <laughs> I don't know. There's, there's some other animal species that I'm thinking about. Mm -hmm. Even because worms have a they have a system. It's different from a skeleton. Wait, let's get off the science. Okay. Um, Claudia says the people that insist on continuing to eat hog maws, greasy fried foods, and have never tried unprocessed food are not my audience. Yes, but what you're going to do is you're still going to put out the education of trying to get those people to convert. It's harder, more because, work because she said her why was let's go back up here. What yes, go back up. Here? Yeah, if you can find it, find it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can. Would. Mm -hmm. A lot of comments. I'm not gonna scroll through all these comments. A lot of comments up here. You guys are bringing the comments today. I'm loving it. See. You see it? I'm looking. I'm it's not even going. going. I'm, but it's, it's, okay, it's a lot of uh, chatter up here. So. Okay, you look through. I'm going to bring this one up. Barb says perhaps backbone is not a topic to be explored right now. Right? That's not. I'm just, I was just bringing that up to say that you, that everything has structure and we, yeah. need, we need a structure. It doesn't have to be perfect or it doesn't have to be a business plan. I'm not a big believer in a business plan where you pay somebody to write your deck and to do all of this. I'm saying business plan is that you know your why, you know why you're doing it, you know the goals you want to reach, you have a call to action, you have a product or service, and then you do the work. Now you can do a business plan if there's a goal of I need to get a loan or I need to get investors, then yes, you need a solid written professional business plan. Okay, you found it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So Claudia said, it's funny. I never think of winning compared to others. My business is also my passion and I win when I convey to people the message of eating healthy, real food. So that's it. 
that's your your why is conveying that message of eating real well, healthy food because well, it's important well, now claudia well, well. it's important because of the COVID 19 that we're saying that the doctors are saying that you need to be in a healthier frame of mind but we needed that before we just didn't pay, we didn't pay attention so now that we have the pandemic we have to pay attention Tension for real to eating healthy so that's why i'm saying this is the best time for her to get into that right now um and then carlos says but how will i get educated if i don't have bad habits first right that's what i'm saying she does it, her her immediate don't focus is not on those people he mm -hmm. said, don't abandon us guys who have health. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You don't, right. So when she has the room to educate those people, because they're not, if you're eating that type of food, you're not receptive to the message of healthy food unless something jump starts you like the pandemic or you get a health issue and your doctor says that, and then you start looking at it. But if they're in the mindset of, you know, this food isn't hurting me, which it is, mm -hmm. but they're in that mindset. They're not going to be receptive or seek out someone who's talking about eating healthy. Whereas someone like me, I'm looking to improve my health. I'm always on the lookout for that. So I would be receptive to her message. I'm like, mm, I'm curious. Tell me more. And that's where she starts the education of, okay, on my website, I talk about this. On my podcast, I talk about this. So follow me on my podcast to learn more. Go to my website to learn more. Go to my Instagram. She has the direct where she wants them to go. And you can do all of them or you could do one. It depends on how targeted you want to be and how much effort and work you can put into it. And I always say, if you can't put the work in yourself, then you're going to put the money in to pay someone else to do it for you. So you're not going to just, you know, let it lay is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Claudia says, of course. And then she says, there are folks that just won't bend if I do, if I do move, they just won't bend if I do move on. They're always, they always come back after they get their lab results. See, mm -hmm. this is the thing. Claudia's in a good spot because she doesn't have to beat you over the head with it. Something's going to happen. Either you wake up yourself or a doctor or a diagnosis or something is going to tell you, you got to get healthy. Then they're going to seek out healthy meals. How do I do this? How do I make a smoothie? How do I do those kind of things? And that's when she's going to be like, okay, come on. I got it. I got your podcast. I got your website. I got your Instagram. I got your uh, Snapchat, wherever she wants to be at Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, even LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. Even LinkedIn, Claudia, um, because LinkedIn has your know, always professionals looking for jobs. There's a conversation going on between people who, who are in professional jobs, but they're still people. They still mm -hmm. need health information. They still need whatever it is that you're talking about, jewelry. Uh, women want to wear jewelry to look nice on camera or at their job or wherever they, whatever they're doing. That idea is still good on LinkedIn. You mm -hmm. have to frame it to fit that world of LinkedIn. See, mm -hmm. it's just mm -hmm. like when you go to Rome, when you go to Italy, you have to learn the language. And once you learn the language, you can communicate and people pay attention to you. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, like I can, it. I can keep going, but I'm like, we're going to, we're going to stop this. We're at the, t at, at the top of the hour, a little over. Mm -hmm. um, thank yeah. you for the conversation, everybody. I love the comments. I love really what's good. going on. Thank you. I love the comments. I love what's going on. Thank you for the for the response. Your ideas, your opinions, your thoughts are all welcome mm -hmm. because it makes the discussion robust. 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 Here I am going with my words again. There, there's a really meaty conversation where things are happening. We're learning what we need to know. We're getting ideas. We're getting motivated to find out what we need to know and do what we have to do to have a successful business. Your marketing message, your idea, your niche topic. You want to go sub, sub, sub as deep as you can, as small as you can, because that's where the most... Uh, connection is happening. You want engagement. You want connections. You want responses. You're going to have to be targeted and niche in order to get that. So if you're doing general stuff, it's not really going to get the response that you want is what I'm trying mm -hmm. to say. Okay. 
So that's what it is. So thank you for watching today. I really appreciate everything that you're saying, that you're communicating and letting us let me know. You know where to find me. Find me at Terry Johnson online or at the Biz Chicks. You're going to find Big Chicks in the group, on the page, Facebook. We're everywhere. I'm everywhere. The Biz Chicks are everywhere. Yes. Okay. Forward to talking to you. Now, tomorrow is Wednesday, so we'll be talking to Coach Karen, and we hope that you'll mm -hmm. join us for that. In the meantime, to join Biz Chicks, you can text 33777. Check text biz to that number and join biz chicks and encourage people to to come on over and join in the meantime we want to remind you don't forget to go to the front of your own line we'll see you thank tomorrow. you guys thank you bye bye, bye.